Okay, let's uh, get to hear from Mr. Aliko Dangote, the CEO, the chairman of the Dangote Group. This he commissioned a cement factory in Ndola in Zambia. Ndola is uh, uh, some kilometers away from Lusaka, the capital of Zambia. Let's listen in. This is a very important uh, event in what you call Pan-African and cross-border regional investment. Uh, what was the, uh, the incentive for investing uh, not just in Ethiopia, you are expanding rapidly in, in East Africa. What makes East Africa very important for you? Well, East Africa is very, very important, but you know, we're actually uh, investing all over Africa, Central, Eastern, Southern, Western, and uh, you know in the entire sub-saharan uh, you know africa because you know there's actual need there's uh, actual need of investing in infrastructure and you cannot do infrastructure without uh, cement and it's one of the reasons that we actually say that well you know let us move the region has actually been starved of investment especially in uh, cement manufacturing and we realize that we the africans are the only ones that will drive that process and it's the main reason why we're actually pushing to see that, yes, we drive that process by making sure that we Africans invest in our own African e economy by leading and making others to join. From Zambia, where does Dangote Cement go next investing across Africa, especially in the East and Central region? Well, we have a lot of projects right now, you know, all over the West, East, South, I mean, I believe uh, maybe the next one we might uh, commission might be one of the biggest in the region, which is almost about 4 million tons in South Africa. Uh, it depends on the sequence, and uh, even Tanzania, we're almost ready. I think the next two, three months will be ready. Uh, this year, we're going to commission a total of seven plants, and then the rest like Congo, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and, uh, you know, Sierra Leone, Zambia, and Co. will happen next year. Do you see opportunities to list Dangote cement on more than a single stock exchange, which currently is that of Nigeria? Well, definitely, that's what we've been working on. We're working on uh, listing in, uh, uh, you know, secondary listing, both either in uh, Johannesburg or London Stock Exchange. But being an African company, really, Johannesburg is one of the main uh, areas where we'll go before going to London Stock Exchange. So we're working very hard towards that. Specifically in terms of Zambia, how many jobs are you creating here for this African country? In Zambia, we'll end up creating almost uh, over a thousand jobs, direct, you know, and uh, indirect is in thousands. Uh, apart from the plant, you know, we have 400 brand new trucks which we are launching this August. And uh, we know that is for uh, the logistics, for movement of our goods. And that will happen, uh, I think, in the next two weeks. They have already arrived. Uh, we're just doing the custom clearing. Uh, so both that one in the production, in the mining, uh, you are taking about a total of about 1,000 people. In terms of competition here in Zambia, you have Lafarge and you have Zambezi. How much strength are you bringing in uh, to compete with these two companies? Well, there's quite a lot of strength. Uh, right now, as I enter into the market, uh, within the last uh, one and a half, within the last six weeks, uh, you know, the uh, cement prices has adjusted twice. And, uh, you know, and I think the Zambians are very pleased and happy with our investment that at least they've seen the light of the day. It has actually never, ever happened before, not even one drop. Are there special incentives that you are getting from the administration of President Albert uh, uh, Balungu here in Zambia? There is quite a lot of government support. We have actually done, uh, you know, uh, quite a lot. There is a tax-free uh, holiday and, uh, you know, a lot of incentives. The road construction, we are doing that, but we are allowed to take it out of uh, our taxes. And they've been very, very helpful. Even, uh, you know, VAT, they've given us credit for the uh, value-added taxes. So, you know, they have done their very best. You know, we've had a couple of issues at the beginning. This was about four years ago. But that has all been resolved, and we're a very, very happy investor here. Well, that was an interview with Bosin Omofai, Channel's business editor, who was at uh, Ndola, where Dangote Cement was opening its factory uh, in Zambia. Don't forget, Dangote Cement has its operations in other countries. In Africa, we have Ethiopia, 
uh, we have in Kenya and also in Congo. So more expansion driver for the cement company. And that's where we draw the curtain on Business Morning. We want to thank everyone out there for spending time with us. And we hope that you've been able to understand the issues surrounding uh, loan recoveries in Nigeria's uh, banking sector, as uh, stated out by Mr. Tunde Pukola a, a short while ago uh, during our conversation. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bolaji Akimale. News track is coming up next.